Wow. Hi, guys. Wow. How are we doing? Oh, Macy's already starting. As soon as I go live, she's like, I must bark at everything. How's it going? Hi, Weasel. Hi, Bones. Hi, Joel. Macy's bluefin. How's it going? Happy Thursday. I normally don't stream on Thursdays, at least not like my own stuff. So this is weird. Hi. I just heard her in my ear. I was like, oh. Oh no. I'm doing good. How, how are you going, Weasel? Um, I was doing some more research on, on Pinterest today. And by research, I mean I was scrolling aimlessly through Pinterest. So we have some new ideas. Hi, Cookie! How's it going, Cookie? Um, also, I realized that I have... This is my last remaining Game Grumps shirt merch that I have. And it's the Dream Daddy tank. Of course, it's pink. Pretty good. I hurt my back again three times in two weeks today. Oh my god, Weasel, you gotta be more careful. Why do you keep hurting your back? Made pasta, have iced tea. So, oh, night. What kind of pasta? What kind of pasta you got going on? Joel and I are gonna get Indian food tonight. What the hell is going on in here? Shenanigans. Hi. How are you? Uh, I miss playing uh, TTRPGs with you. I'm just putting that out there. It's a new shape. One sec. Ooh. Pasarechi? I've never heard of that before. Keep getting partnered with unstablest of my classmates to carry 250. Oh, God, weasel. I, miss I know. We, we need to. I mean, if we get, if we get to play in that... Um, Vampire game. Whenever that happens. I hate, I hate that. I hate when I get lipstick on my cup. That's annoying. That's annoying to me. And a nice meat. Oh, I love a, I love a meat sauce. I love a meat sauce. Um, yeah, we're going to be uh, continuing on with the little divination wizard that I was um, noodling around with. I have a little bit more idea of, like, how I want her, like, close to look. I think, like, I went into her design on Tuesday, not super knowing uh, how I wanted her design to look um, in terms of her clothing. Because she's a divination wizard. Um and I want her to be very almost fortune teller-esque, but I didn't want to go, like, Romani-inspired because I find that a little disrespectful. Um, so I think I'm going, actually, I'm going to go kind of, like, Grecian with it. Um, hot pink fishnet. Yeah, definitely. Do some hot pink fishnets. I have to find out if uh, Stray is still going to let me be part of that story since I play one of the big kindred in the Philly game. <laughs> I hope so. I really hope so. Um, I, uh, I, I want it. So my idea for that character is 1950s housewife that went fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And murdered her husband. And then, uh, got turned subsequently. I'm like, I'm like really into vampire lately. I just want to be in all of like the vampire games, I think. That's just like the ideal. I need to, I need to like slide into, I want to, I need to slide into Aaron's DMs and be like, hey, <laughs> put me in coach. <laughs> Because I've been, I've been watching your guys' this Philly by night, and I'm like, let me in. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the gates. I'm, I'm shaking the gates. Let me in. <laughs> I'm a bit shook you haven't been in Philly yet. I know they, I know they would. I, always, I feel weird. So 
I always feel weird like going up to people and being like, "Hey, can I be in your game?" Um, like it feels like I it feels pushy to me, and I know that Aaron wouldn't take it that way, but I still feel bad. Just being like, "Hey, <laughs> Ian." Um, but yeah, I I always feel weird like reaching out to people. Um, and I know I shouldn't because like that's how you get into stuff and everything. You gotta like put yourself out there and everything. Um, but I'm in like my very little insulated bubble of the TTRPG space where like I just I'm on like the same like two three channels. <laughs> That's why I miss uh Evandale. It was, it was like something. It was it was outside of my my bubble that I was used to, and I, I met so many amazing people, and I got to play with such an amazing table. Anyway. You're absolutely oh thank you you're on evan i was on evandale cookie i was on evandale i was in the secrets of the fall like six months i think i don't know how time works that seems like the right amount of time but also that seems like such a long amount of time i think we have a sudden open so i was i so Steve, uh, Steve reached out to me about that, about that game. I think I was, I was in the group chat and I, I, I wasn't able to, cause it's a Wednesday night. I can't do Wednesday nights. Yeah. Otherwise I fucking would have loved to be at that table. I was like, so, oh, it's Tuesday now. Interesting. Um, that was like so i i literally had like um when like steve like reached out and everything uh to all of us i was like literally like i was so upset that i had to say no there's just there's some people that like i will likely say yes to games even if like um it like might be like strenuous to my schedule and everything just because like i enjoy playing at their table so much but unfortunately, like Wednesday just like would not work for me. Um, Tuesdays is a little bit of a toss up too, at least right now, because I have a lot of upcoming projects that take place on Tuesday. I fucking my lid is crooked. But if if um, oh, there's no actually there's actually no lemonade in this. It was just crooked sitting on my desk. This is a good system with vampires because I am really on board with vampire stuff. I watched the Blades and Underworlds last week. Um, I mean, honestly, like the. You want any goodies from my sisters? Can you give me some gushers? If that's where you got those the other day. Um, Vampire the Masquerade is like a really good system, obviously because it's you know vampire stuff. Um, I haven't really played too much else. Um in terms of like vampire like only kind of uh games like there's obviously vampires in D&D um but i think vampire the masquerade obviously would be is perfect as is uh i really enjoyed the the storyteller system um even even though like for the most part like in uh bleak's games we do kind of do minimal mechanics uh just cuz we don't get into a whole lot of combat um but I enjoy that. I enjoy like minimal uh, mechanics and minimal usage of mechanics uh, in most of my games, just because I like the RP aspect more. This is an unfortunate <laughs> euphemism. <laughs> um, I actually was thinking about it today. Um. I was talking to Kurt about it actually. The next um the next game I, I do after All We've Lost ends in October, I was like trying to like come up with ideas for um what I eventually want to run. And I'm like not feeling drawn towards anything right now. It's like I don't know that I want to do a fantasy game. And I might want to do like a, a sci-fi game. But I also don't feel like a sci- I don't think I want to do, like, a long-term sci-fi game. 
I think I might end up just doing a bunch of little short mini series instead of like doing a long campaign, but I do I do like a long campaign. Aaron does pretty minimal mechanics and heavy art. Yes, that's like ideal, especially for a vampire game. Like I don't think like you need a whole lot of mechanics in a vampire game. Um I will say I was so so happy to be playing at a table with Aaron again in last week's vampire game. I am like so sad it was only for a session. Uh, but that was so, so fun. I deeply, terribly missed it. Bridgerton. I, 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 I want to do a Bridgerton game, but I don't know that it would be a long-term game. I just started watching Iron Blood Orphans again so you know where my head is at. <laughs> All right. Let me bring this song bitch up. Some beach. And we got our little reference right down there, too. Why aren't you connected, you stupid bitch? Stupid, silly bitch. There we go. Um, so this is we got we got a little bit of we got a little bit more more reference. This is my little reference thing right here, my little collage. Hello, potato. Like I think like I, I really like for for her, I do really want to draw a little bit from like like equal equal parts like Greek Roman as well as like Christianity uh, motifs. Because like the more I think about it, the more funny I think it would be to have like a D and D setting where it's just Christianity. <laughs> I don't know how everyone else feels about that, but I think it'd be funny. I also think I'm going to go with something more like this uh, in terms of her clothing. So we're going to erase some things. In our assets. You ever want to discuss how to turn Christianity into a thing? Hit me up. I think, I, I honestly, I think it would be really... It'd be really cool. And it's also because, like, I think that, like, Catholicism is a really cool, mo just, like, motif. Like, I think, like, Catholicism goes a little hard in its, like, imagery, you know? I'm saying that as someone who was, like, raised, like, um, Methodist. So... Yeah, I've been I've been realizing that we have two seasons left of all we've lost. I have been a little bit um I've been a little almost panicked trying to think of what's gonna come next. Um because basically at this point when I before I had started like last year before I started all we've lost I had already like sort of sorted out a lot of the details for all we've lost um so I feel like I'm behind but I also think I have a little bit more of a handle on things from a DM perspective than I did last year obviously because all we've lost was my first time DMing anything hi Kurt 
I think I need to just make a command for that. That is so much to type out every time. <laughs> Um, one of the games that I've been contemplating, even though it is technically fantasy, um, it's different from D&D &D and Pathfinder, which I think I would enjoy a lot, is uh, The Wild Sea. Um, I think I might pick it up tomorrow once I get paid. Uh, because it definitely looks like a game that I would thoroughly enjoy. Just like in terms of world lore. Yeah, The Wild Sea. Here is the itch page. And there's like um the writer has put out like a, a, a shit ton of like supplemental material as well, um, including like adventures and stuff. So um and I'm kind of like I don't really quite know if I want to commit to writing uh and plotting out my own campaign again quite yet um so very much just like uh me um wild see wild 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 I feel like um, something that I've been struggling with lately with art, I feel like I'm so much more cautious with it than I used to be. And I don't know if that makes sense. But that is the only way I can describe it in my head. I don't know. Truthfully, I'm unsure. Like, I think maybe it's... It could be because I don't do a whole lot of art anymore, and I feel like I have to... I feel like I have to, like, make it count when I do art. 
So I think I overthink it as well because I'm I'm so like, okay, I'm going to do art now, but you know, I'm not going to do art again for like another like fucking month so let me make sure it counts and it's good and then i overthink it and then i like spiral and i like psych myself out about it the brain is weird you know spiraling is my thing you bitch i'm sorry People say I'm jealous, but my kid is watching you. Yeah, it's very weird how I'm just like, I used to just be like so wild and free with my eye. I'd, I'd, I'd grab onto an idea and I'd just fucking run with it. Hello? Got the goods? Huh? I just want to get Food time? Usher time. Maybe if I ever get them. Roll up. I wanted that. Two? Two. Yeah, gushers. I gotta pick you. I can open them. This thing's fucking childproof. <laughs> Maisie. See, so here's what happens, right? Joel comes home. Um, Joel comes home, riles Macy up, realizes he's riled her up. And then he tries to grab her to, like, get her to, like, chill. But that only makes her more angry and mad. So, she gets even more crazy. Are you chipping tooth? My, my tooth's already chipped. Doesn't matter. Some people like crazy sugar tits. Fair enough, Weasel. Fair enough. Welcome on in! Hello, Raiders. Welcome on in, other doc. Thank you so much for the raid. We're just getting started on some uh, art. Thank you. Hi, Raiders. If you don't know me, I'm Myriad. I almost said my, like, actual name for some reason. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm Myriad, or Miri. We do a lot on this channel, including uh, art, TTRPG content, and variety gaming. Right now we're doing a little bit of the, the art and the variety gaming uh, and the TTRPG stuff. Uh oh. How's your, uh, how's your stream? What were you up to? Also discussing the trials and tribulations of being an artist. Life's hard, you know?
I have gushers. If you gush them. Where does the side boob go? You want a little side boob? You can have a little side boob. That's a treat. I've got gushers. I actually have two packs. I'm gonna save this one for tomorrow, though. Oh, no, you gotta give the people what they want, right, Weasel? Actually, that can be better. Be a better side boob. My goal for today is to at least get the clothes done. I'll pick you when I just, me neither, man. Me neither. Side boob, side boob. Hey, ignited. How's it going? I've been um really into the memes you've been posting in the Discord, by the way. I'm having an autistic moment where I don't like the feeling of the gushers on my fingertips. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Where I don't like eating, like, thank you, weasel. I don't like eating, like, food with my fingers. I much prefer to have a utensil. Yeah, I got a folder of memes throughout the years. <laughs> That's amazing. Are you, I'm pretty I'm pretty good with chopsticks. I think we're gonna just draw the clothes as is and then we're gonna worry about the accessories after. <laughs> I'm also picky. Yeah. I'm like, I have both a texture thing, like, texture of things in my mouth, wink wonk, as well as like how they feel on my hand. Hi, Marta. Is it something you discovered recently? Um, not recently. Stuff on my um, are we talking about the same thing being in your mouth. Mostly just gushers. <laughs> Nothing nefarious. Thanks! 
Yeah, I was like really into it. I was like, I, I was, I was, I had done the sketch the other day and then I sent it to Bones and I was like, hey, how you liking this? And she was like, fucking love it. I was like, perfect. And then I just kind of ran with it. Uh, and luckily she liked what I did. So. I think it's a Mexican Sprite. Yeah, it's Mexican Sprite. Since when do gushers in the mouth and hand not make me think of something nefarious? Shimmer, uh, pink shimmer type. Thanks! Yeah, so... Bones came to me and she was like, hey, I want, like, a, a like, trad, uh, design. And I was like, cool. And then, so I had given her a couple of options. Um, and for each of, a couple of options with the, um, with the, the font part of her logo. Um, but, so I had, I gave her a one that's just like a plain wash of color. And then I did the, uh, the glitter design for the hat and the teeth. Uh, because I, I really like, I like glitter tattoos. I like the way they look. I don't think I'd ever get one because I don't know how they wear. But I, I thought that like glitter tattoos look really fucking cool. So I wanted to try that out and see how she liked it. And she liked it, so. Many people know uh, me for being autistic. Even the schools did as I fit the stereotype back then. Autism was seen as something looked down on even online. It makes me happy to see more people getting discovered for being autistic too. Yeah, so I think, um, because like I'm, I'm, I'm f female. Uh, thanks, Weasel. Um, I'm female, so I think that like I flew under the radar with like ADHD and autism. Um, in school because uh, for the most part women tend to present differently with those two uh, and I very much presented as the like I was quiet kept myself uh, I like excelled at school um, didn't cause any problems and so I never was on anyone's radar because of it because I never caused problems with it um, and like once I got into like my like I want to say like early 20s, I was like, oh, something's a little bit different about me. <laughs> uh, and then that's when I was like, OK, yeah, I have. Yep. And then I got confirmed. I was like, OK, great. <laughs> good, to, good to know it's not just in my head. Yeah, they tend to be comorbid and AFAB tend to be. Yeah, that's something I've definitely found. Hi, Quija. Watch me, baby. thinking how I want to do the skirt. One thing to say to Potato, mommy. He's kind of mommy. Go to hell. Damn it. Oh, 
I'm, str I, I'm already, I'm stressing over everything. No, I'm fine. Hi, Glebe. I also kind of want, I'm doing a lot of, I think I want to do like a lot of, um, moon motifs with her. Like phases of the moon. So I kind of want to just, um, not too excessive, but I do know I want her. So she's going to have the tarot box. And I think I'm going to have the, the uh, phases of the moon on that. Celestial motifs. There's going to be a lot of celestial motifs, I think. Not just ex exclusively moon. I think I like that a lot. I'm liking how re right. I was saying at the beginning of the stream, like I want it because obviously divination wizard, and I feel like it's very easy to sort of veer into, um, sort of that stereo stereotypical like fortune teller vibe. Um, and I wanted to be very careful of that because um, that like you know the fortune teller vibe all kind of draws heavily from like the Romani culture. 
Um, and I was looking on Pinterest for things that like just like looked really like I just thought like looked beautiful. And I found like this dress that was very uh, Grecian inspired. And I was like, man, I think I'm just going to draw in some some Grecian inspiration for for clothing because uh, I want it to be very flowy and sort of. Uh, bare, mostly because she's got to have her eyes accessible somehow. I swear to God, I just heard someone talking. I don't know if Joel was talking to the, one of the animals or not. Amy. Also, the absolute gamble of drawing something that I I drew two days ago and hoping that it looks the same. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a lot. A lot. Yeah. I know, it's just fucking obnoxious. A lot or not enough? Just a lot. Oh, I, I drew this little, so I drew this little braid thingy, this little, um, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I like the way it looked. I drew this on Tuesday and I was like, I hope I, it looks similar when I redraw it on the other side. <laughs> We're watching, um, Joel's, um, parents' dog as well as Joel's sister's dog. And so I keep having to go upstairs like in the mornings and afternoons to go check on them. And Macy has like absolute PTSD of me like getting up from my chair and like heading towards like the area where the door is to go upstairs because she's like, are you leaving me again? I think Mama misses with your drawings when you're not around. Like she adds her like, she like picks up the pencil and like does like her little, she's like a little Picasso, maybe. I hear like a, a noise at night and I come out and Macy's just correcting all of my anatomical errors. Just disappointment. Too much. Rearranging furniture at night. The feng shui is all off. I see you, Sithy. Trying to sneak in. How you doing, Sithy?
Good. Great day to be an American. Something happened. Warm. Are you taking a little bath, buddy? I got convicted on all. Oh, he did. <laughs> Get fucked, idiot. That's <laughs> what happens when I don't fucking go on on social media. I miss all the good stuff. <laughs> Oh, that live on. See, I don't have, I don't, we don't have like live TV. I don't listen to the steel. If I had money, I would give you all cigars. <laughs> this smug face, and I'm saying people cause conspiracy. Oh, boy. What a fucking bozo, am I right? I remember when people in the class during 26, 2016 said they did not want to vote for him. It's wild to think that it's been that long. Like nearly 10 years. Eight. Creamy Cajun shells slapped tonight. Ooh. Joel and I are getting Indian after stream and i'm very very excited for that thanks for looking the sports memes of it hey girl we should settle down a little bit we gotta simmer down not that serious I think an actor from Home Alone. I think a fucking never mind. It's like why I'm convinced we're in the bad timeline, you know? <laughs> It killed Harambe in the timeline split. That's a pretty good hand. I'll take that hand. I'll take that deal. Did you take that deal? I'll take that deal. I already broke out the wine. <laughs> Damn good deal.
good day. Music slaps as well. Some Bastille? Something concert with Duran. Really? They're like one of my um they're like one of my favorite bands. I think she's looking pretty cute. Or Duran Duran, please. I, Duran Duran reminds me of my father. My dad loved like listening to like Duran Duran. Hesh mode, yeah. That was another like my my dad used to um, and it's funny because I used to hate eighties music, um would refuse to listen to it because that's all my dad used to listen to. And I like to just like, I like to just be obstinate about it. Um, and I actually like, like eighties music now. So just eating, eating my, the words of a young myriad. While listening to Bob Marley music as a kid in the two thousands, due to my parents playing it, eighties music slap. It it does, but I I was like a shithead little teenager, and I refused to think that my parents had any taste in anything. You know. My dad, um, my dad used to listen to like heart a lot. My mom too, and he always used to say, uh, "Love is a battlefield." Was um, him and my mom's <laughs> wedding song. <laughs> It's my parents. There is me on Dolly, Motorhead, ACDC, and Prince. Yeah, my dad used to listen to a lot of like hair bands. Uh, my mom listened to a lot of old country music, and I, I like the country music. Um, I like I like country. Oh, I meant Pat Benatar. I don't know why I was thinking Heart. Um, country is trash. You're trash. Eat shit, nerd. Although I don't, um, I don't listen to new country music. Um, not really, uh, into the new country music. Besides, like, a select few. Tyler Childers. What about, con you know, I kind of fucks with country Beyonce. But it's Beyonce, you know? She's gonna fucking eat no matter what. I've yet to hear her country. It's it's pretty so the thing with like Beyonce is I think she has a very lovely voice. And I think her voice is quite suited for country music because she gets really she gets like really low in it. Um so like I think I think it's pretty good just because I love I love her voice. It's like she's also like sort of like Lady Gaga for me, where like Gaga can do any sort of 
genre of music and i'm gonna i'm gonna eat that shit up Peeking your little head around the corner and go lay down. I need my stupid little glove, but I don't know where it is. Oh, Weasel, I thought of you yesterday. Um, Bowling for Soup came on while um, Joel and I were driving home from the gym. And I was like, hmm, Weasel. Welcome, Weasel. We're gonna post. Really? That sounds really cool. I was, um, I was talking earlier in the stream about how I'm now thinking about like what comes after all we've lost because uh, I know the end date for all we've lost, uh, and it's in October. Uh, so I've been thinking about like what I'm going to do after that. And I'm like, I have nothing I've got. Like, I, I don't, there's nothing that's really like calling me where I'm just like, yeah, I really want to run this like sci-fi long-term campaign, or I really want to do this like cyberpunk long-term campaign or blah, 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 blah. Like I, nothing's like really like speaking to me so i'm kind of just floundering about right now like oh i could do this or maybe i could do this your number i'll be calling you all we've gained <laughs> said a thousand years after nuclear war no guns just normal fantasy tropes hell yeah whatever it is i will oh thank you cookie It is, I will say, it is nice knowing that even if I run some dookie shit, hey, Vlad, some dookie shit, some people will still watch. literally watch anything <laughs> oh man that's funny i feel like cookie uh i'm in the same boat where like i true i i'll be watching just random shit i'm a big uh i'm i'm big into uh like bad horror movies I love a really fucking shitty horror movie. Like, just the stupidest one you can find. My friend and I used to, when Netflix used to have, like, the rating system. I don't know if they still have it. Uh, but they had, like, the, where uh, you could, it was, like, user ratings. Um, my friend and I used to go on, uh, and we used to do have, like, a drinking, um, a drinking game. Uh of just watching really bad movies and every time one of us laughed we had to take a drink and we would pick like the, it was like half a star bad taste i have watched all of the twilight me too 
I've watched them multiple times. It's fine. <laughs> I'll post the campaign Bible in the first venture in the homebrew Discord channel. Yes! Please do, Sithy. I have the books, Cookie. The drunker you get. Yeah, exactly. We also, so, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad that, that me and, me and Ashley can't do this because I, we live across the country from each other now. Um, we, uh, we had a drinking game for Until Dawn, the game Until Dawn, and they they just announced like the remaster or whatever of it. Uh, and I'm really sad that we won't get to play Until Dawn and do our little drinking game because I still have like the little note card of all of the uh, the things that we had to drink for. I don't know that we even made it through like two chapters of that game without getting completely fucking sloshed. Oh god, that I, I that was like one that's like one of my favorite horror games. I'm so excited because now it's now it's coming out on the, the PC. I'm so excited to play it. I know that game. It's a good game. Really good game. Oh, I love this song. This song is called Good Grief, and um, it was my uh, little theme song for my character Grief. So, mutants with superpowers, love triangle with a girl and two guys, replace mutants with vampire, X-Men, and Twilight. It's the same thing. Are they opening it to co- I don't think so. Which is a shame. They didn't release a whole lot of... They just released the trailer. They didn't release a whole lot of information for it. Um, they were going to... I know that they said that they were doing... Um, like, updated graphics as well as they added some scenes and things like that to make it the story a little bit more cohesive. Also, the quarry the quarry is really good. I like all of those games that they've released. Um, yeah, I heard about Kevrin. It's really sad. I saw uh, Jeremy from Wanderers Haven post about it. Worries glass. It's you know when members of the community unfortunately aren't here anymore. You know we still want to pay respects to them. It is almost Friday. I keep hearing someone like talking. And I don't think it's Joel. It's Friday for you, Joel. Friday is great, but my finals are next week, and I don't know that I feel prepared. Are you going to be studying this weekend, Weasel? All you have to do with the ghost is ask it to see its titties. Reach out and grab some, reach out and grab titties. Studying helps to so have someone to run scenarios with would be more helpful. Oh. 
to make clay bowls to get a ghost attention. <laughs> I like how that looks. I, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little like astrology symbols in that, I think. In those. <laughs> Me, when I had finals, I'd be in a group study with classmates and we had a classroom group lessons by ourselves that sounds nice light up a bowl and you will see ghosts i mean if you smoke enough it was very egyptian yeah we're going uh sort of greco-roman greco-roman meets like catholicism I want her to have like a veil as well. We do, we got some side boobs uh, the, on the request of Weasel. Him. Good luck editing, Sithy. Weasel, Weasel is not in high school. <laughs> All right, I have a cheeky little ad coming up, so we are going to take a quick break so I can run this ad, uh, but we will be right back. Stick around.
Hello, we're back. Hey. Thanks. Also, has anyone watched the new um, interview with a vampire series? Has anyone watched that? I'm like, because like, so I, I, I keep seeing t uh, clips of it on TikTok and it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, I see, I see probably like the, the best parts of the series. So I'm like, I kind of want to watch it just to see like how, how it is. No strong opinions here. Oh, hi, RT, Jesus. Never. No. Creep have a strong opinion about something? No. Very mild-mannered. I think the thing that's creepiest about having eyes all over the body is the eyelashes. I think that's probably the creepiest part. It's not like the actual eyeballs, it's the eyelashes. Thanks. I wanted like biblically accurate ASMR. I just sneeze. I'm fine. Oh, my brain. Holy shit. Thank you. Imagine her in a sandstorm. Well, she's got all of her eyelashes to protect her eyes. Also, I don't know if I want to have it where she's got like their symmetrical eyes, like they're symmetrical all over her body. Thank you. Pencil tool. to look up the feet. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Period, what do you search history like? Feet. Not a weird way. I'm an artist, you see.
Look at him. Beat. He'll just like slip and fell to his death or something. It's like a guy just like spreading. I, I looked up feet reference and there's just a guy spreading his toes. Like mood, I guess. Love the internet. A, a normal foot? A normal foot? A normal foot reference? Just flat foot? Honestly, I'm just waiting for like Tito to come in here and be like, eat. That's a fine enough foot. For guys, work smarter, not harder. <laughs>
Wow. I see. Probably could have. See if this works. <laughs> Not for me. like that.
I'm gonna do it. Yes. This is not TLC. <laughs> BLT. Love a BLT, dude.
I like that. Waiting if I want to give her like a little cape thing or not. Thanks. Where was you? I hope you're doing well too. I'm doing pretty good. Weasel, can I get a shout out for Tales Archives, please? Thank you. I kind of like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Hoping for some upcoming games. Nice. I, I was talking about uh, I was talking about thinking thinking about what upcoming games I need to start. You know, preparing for. <laughs> Level of Oracle of Delphi meets Elven royalty. Yeah. Well, she's not an elf. She's an Asimar. But same vibe. <laughs> I think we're... She's actually a potato. Oh, yeah, because all of her eyes. Oh... 
an eye right at the base of her neck. Yeah, I'm in stop. If we're an arc on an ongoing campaign where the party is split and trying to take down a death egg, then I need to build out maps for a pirate focus game. I'm running too many games. And I would have it. Yeah, same. I have to be I have to start prepping for the next season of like my ongoing campaign. We have a our every other uh week game next week. And then we got a bunch of other games coming up in the summer. But it's exciting. Exciting to, to have all this shit going on. Get to tell some cool ass stories. I think are we you could correct me if I'm like totally mistaken we're in a game together in like two weeks aren't we for Sega Sega system I am correct okay I got so much... so many group chats I don't know <laughs> and I never want to offend anyone <laughs> Simba just giving me inspiration for the not Hades idea. So I, it's just, you know, I, so I always feel, and especially because sometimes there are, so there's like people, especially like in the TTRPG space, who, um, they, like on Discord or something, their name is different from like their social media stuff. And so I'm always like, hey, Ryan, <laughs> like, I don't know if that's actually your name or not. And I'm just making things up in my head. I've had so many like, uh, where like, I'll, I'll be talking to someone like on like threads and then, um, and then they'll like pop in my chat. And it's like a different username, but I know who it is. And I'm just like, I don't want to be that person that calls them by the wrong name. Hello, name, right? Please, God, tell me I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> Please, God, or else I'm going to look like the biggest asshole on the face of the earth. Act like it's a bit you're doing on purpose. <laughs> I'm Weasel on Discord. And I thank you for the clarification, Weasel. I don't think I would have gotten that. I have not been on threads. I'm not going to claim your title. Biggest asshole on the earth. You're the biggest troll, Bull. Let's be honest.
I try my best to keep usernames in uniform. Yeah, same. I think I'm I'm at least myriad on everything. Uh, the underscore X is to be determined, depending. I do, you do do it from a place of love, and I appreciate that. Even when you are trolling the fuck out of me. I'm going to say she also has eyes on the palms of her hand. But well, you're a daddy. Well, that's in the TTRPG uh, collective. I'm everyone's dad. It's dad, not daddy in a weird way. I'm a father figure. As you have the dream daddy shirt on. I'm, a, I'm also sugar tits and daddy o. Woman of many names. my nickname for you I don't want to know what it is I don't want to know my favorite thing about being everyone's dad on the TTRPG collective discord is that um, sometimes I'll just like uh, come into the Discord and say something, and then I'll leave again. Really got to give them that, like having a having an absentee father uh, experience. How's it going, sport? What are you doing, champ? What's going on, buckaroo? She definitely has one on the back of her neck, too. Hey there, tiger. Chadison, I don't I don't wanna know is the problem. Chair is like slightly rolling back, and it's driving me. AC. Crazy train. <laughs> is it ball and chain? Because you do call me that quite often.
I just had a really weird thought. <laughs> just like, I don't know if I should say, I don't know if it's Twitch appropriate. Can I just say that's the sexiest potato? Hell yeah. You guys are haunting. Thanks. So we're going with like sort of like biblically accurate Asimar. Divination wizard. Call her the love of your life, right? Why does why does I'm I'm I don't I don't even know what he is has on his mind right now that he thinks he calls me. will lie on her foot. I'm kind of into that, I'm not gonna lie. And as we said before, her her titties do have, have um eyes on them. We've already established that. Yeah, eyes for nipples. Exactly, Sithy. Exactly. She cries milk. <laughs> Pumping. Alright, so... We're gonna be doing... I think we'll probably leave it here, because we did make really good progress with this. We're gonna do, like, the accoutrement next. Um, but that's gonna be probably next week. But we wanted to do a hand mirror. Um, sickle and tiger. Right? She looks good with the eyes. I was like, I, you know, you, you get a little nervous about things sometimes. Oh, is it Astro Glabe or Glade? Astro Glade? Whatever. I know what it is. Um, making note of stuff I want to like add to her so you oh, thank you Sithy and then I think so for the the tarot cards that are like floating around her her like 
I don't want to go with like traditional tarot cards, like the major and minor arcana. I do want to make them like spell themed because the tarot cards are going to be her like spell book. So I think it would be interesting to try to come up with like not super detailed designs because they are small, but at least like things to set the um the cards apart from one another. And the oh, thank you. I'm excited. I'm really. I'm. Will there be a duck? Oh my god, a duck meteor card. Oh, to be a duck witness witnessing a meteor shower. I have. I have seen that. All right. We are gonna go right over into bones. He, because I know bones is finishing up Hellblade. Uh, so we're gonna go. Right on over into Bones. Thanks for hanging out. I think we have nothing else this week. So I will see you guys next week with... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to see you next week with. I don't know what's going on. I can't. I don't even know what's going on tomorrow. So everyone stick around as we go right into Little Bones. Make sure to give Bones some love. And... uh. Oh yeah, we on Monday. Monday Ragnarok. Thanks, Quicha. All right, everyone, be good, be chill. Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Or whatever. I'm not your mom. Bye. <laughs>